With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is assertion reason kind of question. Here the assertion is that during the aerobic respiration, pyruvic acid formed as a result of glycolysis undergoes phosphorylation reaction to form acetyl coenzyme A. And the reason is that there is net gain of 18 ATP molecules during the aerobic respiration of one molecule of glucose of glucose. So if we talk about assertion first, so what happens during aerobic respiration is so during aerobic respiration, the end product that is formed as a result of glycolysis. So the end product of glycolysis that is pyruvic acid, it is transported pyruvic acid it is then transported from the cytoplasm into the mitochondria so it is transported from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria so what happens in mitochondria in mitochondria it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation reaction so it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation reaction in the mitochondria and as a result of this reaction it leads to the formation of acetyl coenzyme A. So acetyl coenzyme A it is formed as a result of this reaction. So what happened during aerobic respiration is pyruvic acid from cytoplasm it is transported into the mitochondria. Here it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation and forms acetyl coenzyme A. So now if we read the assertion, it said that pyruvic acid, it undergoes phosphorylation reaction to form acetyl coenzyme A, but it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation reaction. So this statement is false. So the assertion is false. So now if we look upon the reason, it said that there is net gain of ATP, 18 ATP molecules during aerobic respiration of one molecule of glucose so now if we talk about complete oxidation of glucose so this is the aerobic respiration that is complete oxidation of glucose into carbon dioxide and water so glucose it's oxidized it is oxidized into carbon dioxide and water so furthermore there can be net gain of 36 molecules of atp so net gain of molecule atp molecule is 36 so during this aerobic respiration 36 ATP molecules can be formed from one glucose molecule so total number of ATP from one glucose molecule it is 36 so the reason was it said that 18 ATP molecules are formed so this is also incorrect as 36 molecules of ATP are formed so now are both reason as well as assertion are false so both the assertion and reason are false for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.